Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we'll be discussing about lightning flows. So today, we'll discuss about how we can create picklist choice set and how we can use it in flows. Okay. So we'll go to our uh, Salesforce org and we'll search for flows in setup. We'll click on flows. So this will give us a list of flows already present in our Salesforce org. So we'll create a new flow, which will redirect us to flow builder. And here we'll select screen flow. Okay. We'll click on next. We'll select free from over here and we'll land into flow builder page. Now we'll uh, use this flow to create case record. And uh, so let's see on the case uh, records what are the mandatory fields okay so we can see over here we have a uh, status as mandatory field and case origin as mandatory fields now in the previous videos uh, we have created flows but uh, we have only used text fields and uh, phone number email numbers fields right we have never used pick list right now uh, so in this video uh, we'll be using pick list okay so how can we get this list of values in the pick list inside our flows and how we can use this pick list fields there right so we'll use status case origin and maybe a subject field okay so these three fields we'll use in our flow to create case so we'll go to flow builder and here uh, first thing so uh, to use this pick list fields in flow we need to create a pick list uh, values right so we'll go to manager we'll click on new resource and resource type we'll select select a pick list choice set okay and we'll name it as stages or rather case stages and object will select case data type would be pick list and field will be status sorry so uh, it has to be status right so we'll rename it as case status and i'll click on done okay so we have created one pick list choice set also, uh, we saw we need to create one more pick list choice set uh, for case origin field. Okay, so we'll click on new resource. Type would be pick list choice set, and API name will be case origin. Okay, field object would be case, and data type would be pick list. Field will be case origin right and order will keep it as it is so we have created two pick list choice sets now so these choice sets will allow us to utilize the pick list value inside our flows okay so we'll go to elements now and drag a screen element name it as create case screen uh, then we'll use two fields over here one would be pick list we'll name it as status type would be text and uh, select choices so here we need to select the pick list choice set which we have created so this is status field so we'll select pick list uh, in this case status pick list choice set okay so we'll click on this so we'll be able to fetch the values of this field inside this uh, pick list value we have created for our flow okay uh, component visibility we'll keep it as it is and we don't require help text now so this is fine we'll select another pick list and we'll place it below this status we'll name it as case origin okay and data type uh, would be text no default value and so for pick list choice set we'll select a case origin over here okay 
uh, we'll select one more field so it would be subject field so we will select text we'll name it as subject and uh, rest all thing we'll keep it as it is okay so we'll click on done and we will link this to start screen okay uh, we'll save this we'll name it as create case flow okay and we'll save this so we have uh, created a screen which have three fields for case okay and uh, two of them are using a uh, ticklish choice set right next uh, we need to use create record element uh, so that we can create case record so we'll just drag it over here uh, we'll name it as create case record uh, we'll be creating one record at a time and we'll select okay so uh, we need to select this uh, use separate resources and retrieval values because we are using separate resources right so here we need to select case and then we need to map these uh, screen values into this uh, case fields which we want to create a record with right so first would be status so we'll select status here and uh, from the screen components will be selecting uh, status then we'll add one more field uh, and uh, we'll select origin and we'll select over here uh, as case origin from screen component so remember we don't have to uh, select this uh, value from picklis choice set okay we have to select it from uh, screen component so we'll select this case origin then we'll add one more field and it would be subject for case and we select it from subject screen component okay and then we'll click on done we'll just connect these two elements and save our flow okay now once this flow has been saved we'll just click on debug and we'll click on run over here and we can see this uh, create case flow uh, screen over here right so we'll select status case origin and subject for the case And click on next so if i click on next uh, we should be able to create case record okay so you can uh, see over here in the debug details so um, these values we entered and uh, this is the result so record is ready to be created so we'll go to our uh, case list view we'll refresh this screen and we'll see if record is getting created or not right so you can see a new record got created over here and uh, whatever value we selected during a uh, flow debug mm -hmm, those values are uh, being populated over here on the case record okay so uh, this is how we can use picklist choice set to create picklist fields uh, in our flows uh, that's it for this video if you have any questions you can write it down in the comment section and uh, thank you for watching this video uh, do subscribe the channel